Hey, what is going on guys? Nooney here, welcome back to yet another plugin tutorial. And in this tutorial, we will be using MySQL because I've been getting some requests on how you, I personally do MySQL and how people can do, well, make plugins with MySQL in them. Um, so, I kind of do mine a little bit differently to everyone else. I make sure that you're using one connection instead of opening up multiple connections for each time you want to do a query. Um, if you don't want to do this, uh, then you, I'd probably go watch someone else's tutorial because this is, this is basically how I'm going to do it. So as you can see, I've got these uh, three classes, database, and MySQL, and the other one is called MySQL D. MySQL D basically has all of our information inside of it, um, and that is pretty much um, what we're going to use to store all of our information. Um, now, if you want to have all your stuff inside of a config, you can go ahead and in MySQL D just reference it back to a, some sort of config. Um, but I kind of don't. I want mine hard coded. Um, so yeah, that's that. So as you can see, I've blurred out one thing, um, and that's basically the password. Um, so as you can see, localhost. Uh, the, basically, the host that I want to connect to is localhost. Localhost means that. Um, the the server that the plugin will be on is running on the same box or for example if I have a dedicated box which I do my MySQL is running on the same box as the plugin well the server will uh, 3306 is the port and the database is the database that obviously I'm going to be uh, using um, and then outside is the user and the password is going to be the password of that user um, so I'm actually just gonna go ahead and change this little database thing to SQL to um, because yeah and also I'm gonna go ahead and um, m go ahead and uh, create this table so to create your database you want to log into your PHP admin and as you can see I've blurred out the URL because I don't really want you guys know the IP and all that stuff so uh, yeah so um, localhost and uh, the database that I wanted to call it was SQL to so I'm gonna go ahead and create the database SQL to and create that and inside of here actually that's the MySQL that's not the right database inside of here I'm going to put a table called um, users it's gonna have you it's gonna have the UID the ID the rank and uh, an ID so four and then it's going to be ID it's going to be an in and it's going to auto increment so that's why I've clicked that next one is going to be UUID that's going to be a varchar 65 max 65 max 65 match, uh, max this one's also varchar this one is also a varchar the second or well, the third column will be an IGN IGN is obviously in, uh, in game name and the last one will be their rank so uh, there's some sort of hint of what this series well what my school tutorials I'll be doing. So save, we'll go ahead and create that. Um, it's got no rows, etc. So basically, you're done with uh, MySQL um, on that side. Uh, so make sure that your detail is actually correct. Well, you know, um, are correct. And this database, MySQL, and this SQL D file, I will put as a paste bin. It's the three separate paste bin um, links for you guys. Um, so you can go ahead and click the. It'll probably be an ad fly link, to be honest. Um, just so then I get this small little kickback from you guys clicking links. So all you got to do is wait like five seconds, I believe, and you know whatever. Um, so the first thing we want to add now, we're coming back onto Java, is that we need to ha have our public static connection C, and I've basically done all the main stuff that we need. We uh, started the listener, just waiting here. Um, so you know that's that. Um, so uh, public static connection C, and just before the register the listeners. Uh, we need to do a try and this will catch xql exception uh, sql sql print stack trace this is basically going to say that this entire thing will be a uh, mysql exception um, so mysql sql equals new mysql uh, l mysql if i could actually type correctly then it's sqld dot host comma sqld dot port comma sq uh, sqld dot db and then sql uh, d dot user and then it's sqld dot p 
PW. PW is obviously the password. Um, and then C is going to equal SQL dot open. Uh, that will then open that one connection. And yeah, actually this could just be exception um, because it's not actually fully a MySQL exception. Um, so that will do. And that is basically how we're going to open a connection. Now to close a connection, you do C equals SQL. Actually, you have to probably do a uh, another one. Actually, you could really go ahead and put this as like a static. So, like static so and so. Uh, then that will put that there. And then we can do a try statement there to open it. And then we could do C is equal to SQL dot close connection C. Um, and then we can basically use that in here. So let's go ahead and put a static access there. And yeah, that's that. Uh, it's probably not the most efficient way you could probably do this, but it would do for a little bit. And then we can go ahead and delete this import if it's unnecessary. So now moving on to the pre login listener. Um, obviously, this is deprecated. Um, so if you have your own little ways of doing this, um, then you have your own little ways. Uh, but whatever. So. Um, the way that we're going to use this from now on isn't going to be like any other well it's probably not going to be like what you've already seen so um, so basically this is going to be a try now this try will definitely be a SQL exception uh, because it actually goes through with the MySQL stuff so SQL.print stack trace and we need to have a result set res which is equal to our, our main dot C dot create statement dot execute query execute query and this will be a select number from users obviously the table that we created where the UUID is equal to the following now the following is going to be e dot get unique UUID uh, plus um, little thing uh, pl basically this is our select line so this is going to select a number which basically is any row from the users table where their UUID which is obviously one of the columns is equal to the this UUID of when they log in so import result set and that's that for a little bit so if we do if uh, exclamation mark res dot next which is basically going to reverse a boolean because this is a boolean so basically this is saying if it doesn't exist then we want to go ahead and do this so what we want to do is we want to do main.c dot create statement dot uh, execute update and then inside of here we want to do insert into users and then what we want to insert so it will be the UUID you don't have to do uh, the ID that we um, you know the ID column that we did because it is an un it, it's a auto incrementing uh, column so it does it all by itself and we don't have to go set that so that's pretty cool and if you want to know how you can uh, do these little thingies because they're not apostrophes um, I'll go ahead and put it in the description as well but it's the number, well it's not the number, it's the character to the left of the one on a QWERTY keyboard layout um, now I'm using a English keyboard so I'm not sure if it's the same for the US um, so yeah um, don't quote me on that so uh, the first thing is obviously e dot get unique UUID um, and then the next one is basically as you can see we're basically going to go off in like some sort of like loop so now actually you want to do plus there as well um, so now we need to go ahead and put all the information in plus um, e dot get name plus uh, blah 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 comma and then because they're rank we obviously need to go ahead and do this again plus plus blah blah, blah. Um, and then they like, default or something so um, I don't know but basically that's how I'm gonna have mine laid out um, and then what we need to do is after this uh, uh, bracket we need to have a colon a semicolon um, so that's that and this we'll go ahead and do what we want now core main is equal to core dot plugin um, I know that in my past tutorials I did it like a long winded way it would be like four lines of code but actually it was like five but you don't actually need that this works fine I don't know why I always complicated over, the, uh, over complicated my plugins 
Um, I'll try not to next time. Yeah, basically that will work fine. This plugin will work fine. Um, so if you go ahead and export this, I'm going to go ahead and export it onto my desktop and call it SQL. Um, and then I'm going to go ahead and upload it to a server that I have that I made just for this series. Um, load it onto here. Join the server as I already am. Reload it. Um, and then if I go ahead and exit the server and then rejoin it you will notice that if we look back into the console if I quickly log in that totally ignore this is multiverse um, and that was the hub that is not where I, I'm supposed to be looking so if we go into test as you can see there's no errors the plugin loaded fine uh, it hasn't um, done anything wrong. So now if we look into the users, as you can see, ID 1, UUID, that's my UUID, Looney rules and the rank is default. Um, so that's basically selecting and inserting, that's like the most basic part of um, um, my scroll really. That is pretty much it, so I hope you enjoyed the video, if you have please leave a rating as it really does help me out, and I hope to see you next time. See you guys!